In this video, we'll review the use of the Displacement Maps feature on an artwork. Displacement helps to emphasize 3D surface characteristics of a material by extruding 3D geometry based on image pixels, thus creating a realistic definition of depth. Note, the displacement effect is visible only when using a ray trace render. Displacement maps use the pixel brightness or darkness level to determine the intensity and direction of the effect. White pixels pop out of the surface. Black pixels recede into the surface. Mid-gray pixels have no effect. So, let's see how it's done. First, we'll add new artwork to the garment. Let's create a thickness effect for the artwork to make it look like it has been printed on top of the fabric with a certain substance that gives it some thickness. In the 3D window, right-click the artwork. Click Artwork Resources. The artwork resources are displayed in the context view. Click the diffuse map. The image editor is displayed. Click edit. The artwork is opened in the external image editing software. The diffuse image we have is gray and we'll turn it quickly into white so it can be used as a displacement map to create a raised effect. There are many ways to do this in Photoshop. We'll use the hue saturation adjustment and move the lightness slider to the maximum amount. In this case, we're editing a PNG image file with a transparent background. This transparency is interpreted by vStitcher as black pixels. We know black pixels in a displacement map will create an indent into the surface geometry. To change this and maintain a level surface behind the artwork, we should add another layer below the artwork and give it a mid-gray color. Blur effect on the artwork edges helps to produce a smoother transition of displacement heights. We'll add this effect only on the artwork area. To easily select the isolated artwork area, we'll use the Load Selection feature with its default values. Now we can apply the blur effect to the edges of the selection. Photoshop has several ways to do this. Here we are using Gaussian Blur. Let's apply 5 pixels. Note that as we're modifying the diffuse map, it's important to use Save As to avoid overwriting the current diffuse map. We save the image as a JPEG. Let's return to vStitcher. In the context view, we click the Displacement Map. A File Explorer window is displayed. We'll add the displacement map by clicking on the file we just saved. On the 3D Window toolbar, we click the Ray Trace icon. The artwork now displays with thickness. The extrusion is too big. vStitcher automatically uses a default value of 1 cm height, but we can adjust the value in the context view. Let's change the height to 0.2 cm. Now we can see the change in the ray trace preview window. Note the rounded corners of the artwork. They were created by the blurriness we added. For comparison, here's an artwork that uses a displacement map without the Gaussian blur effect on the edges. And that's how you can use the Displacement Map feature to improve your design. For more information, check out our Help Center, support.browseware.com.